welcome back to our narrowboat pipistrelle. I hope you're all well. Today's video I would like to explain some minor modifications to the windows. Some may already know that if you wish to take the wood from the inside of the windows away to revarnish, stain or paint, you must remove 19 screws from here first before you can take the wood out. So that was a huge inconvenience for me. So I tried to think of a way to make things a little easier. So this window frame and wall was painted about April 2022. And yeah, each window, 19 screws, then put little squares of insulation tape over the holes on the outside of the window frame to stop water coming in, paint the windows, put them back, remove. It was just a, a, such a pain. So what I have changed, so the curtain pole and the curtains have been removed to make it easier to show you. Initially, you may not see that there's any difference until you look a little closer and you see left and right, there's two little picture mount left and right. So if I carefully remove this little wedge and you'll basically see how easy it's going to be to remove that inner wooden frame. So, okay, the windows were held in with these 31 millimeter screws. They are now held in by these little stainless steel countersunk nuts and bolts. I got these from eBay. These are M3 by 14 millimeters long. They were about 17 pounds for 100. And these are M3 nuts, 100 for about three pounds. Two separate companies, but if you search M3 nuts and M3 countersunk, you can choose the lengths. So, as you'll see, these bolts come through they're about five millimeters so the next modification you have to make is to the the wooden frame if you left it as it was and expect that it's going to mount flush it's not going to do that you're going to get about a five mil gap because the wood did go all the way to the bodywork so what you have to do is this section here is it was about 28 millimeters I think you have to cut six millimeters you have to carefully slice six millimeters all the way around the inner part of this frame to make it fit it's a little bit of a nuisance it takes about an hour because it's hardwood and there's also a couple of metal bits that you have to use a hacksaw you can just about hear a metallic sound with a wood saw by hand so you just take a hacksaw out and carefully cut through there. So the six millimeters been removed from the inner and also the mounts have been carefully chiseled and made flush. So that's it. It's as simple as that. This goes up, two little screws left and right and that's how quick and easy it is now to remove these frames, to paint them, varnish them, or stain them. If you need any more tips or help regarding this modification, please leave a message below. Until next time, take care.